good afternoon uh, today we have a case presentation on hypertension in pregnancy good afternoon everyone mrs x primary of age 24 years hailing from chennai of lower middle class uh, booked with us with lmp 8721 and edd of 14422 of gestation age 38 weeks 3 days came to the opd with so, uh, how you calculate the edd so edd is calculated by negley's formula ma'am mm -hmm. that is lmp plus 9 months plus 7 days from the lmp if the periods are regular if the menstruation is regular ma'am if the menstruation is irregular and the cycle is short by 7 days then how do you calculate the correct edd short by 7 days then uh, we Uh, if it is more or less plus or minus 7 days we are going to do so if it is less you have to subtract 7 days and if the menstrual cycles are long then we have to add, add. continue came to opd with uh, present complaint of uh, complaint of headache since 2 days but she is pursuing fetal movements well no complaints of uh, any bleeding or abdomen pain and history of presenting illness complaint of headache is sudden in onset not relieved on medication and there is no associated blurring of vision epigastric pain or decreased urine output there is complaint of bilateral pedal edema since one week and there is no history of any elevated bp in the past okay so what is the cause of epigastric pain so epigastric pain is to due to stretching of the liver capsule of glycine's liver capsule in case of uh, okay yes. what are the other causes of pedal edema the physiological and the pathological ones other causes are that in a pregnancy is a physiological condition where we have pedal edema ma'am and also other conditions like uh, filariasis can have pedal edema and also heart cardiac failure renal uh, failure and uh, liver disease can have mm -hmm. and anemia is the most common cause ma'am where mm -hmm. we can see pedal and edema and also hypertension in pregnancy hypertension okay what is the cause of physiological pedal edema in pregnancy physiological pedal edema is because of compression of the uh, ivc ma due to gravid uterus yes coming to menstrual history she is having regular uh, uh, cycle 3 days of bleeding out of 30 days cycle and changing two pads per day not associated with clots and marital history uh, patient married sin uh, for uh, since one year and non consanguineous marriage so somebody is having a menstrual cycle of 30 days so how will you calculate then edd how many days you will add 30 days is normal ma'am so 9 28 days is normal right so yes so you will two, add yes. two days ma'am yes so obstetric history first trimester uh, confirmed the pregnancy by upt at 45 days of amenorrhea uh, uh, dating scan done and nt scan done and there is no history of radiation exposure or no history of fever with rash no history of hyperemesis gravidarum there is no history of headache no history of any spotting pv and folic acid tablets taken why do you ask history of fever with rash because of uh, rubella is more common more common can lead to congenital anomaly what is the full form of nt nuchal translucency ma okay continue second trimester quickening felt at fifth month anomaly scan done growth scan done and uh, ogtt done and with a normal limit injection tt two doses taken there is no history of any headache any blurring of vision epigastric pain or decreased output in second trimester and also no history of a uh, uh, burning micturition what is the full form of ogtt ogtt is glucose tolerance test ma okay continue so third trimester she came with complaints of headache and uh, not associated with blurring of vision epigastric pain or decreased urine output and uh, bilateral pedal edema since one week but she is pursuing fetal movements well no complaint of bleeding pv abdomen pain or leaking pv there is history of weight gain that is 7 kg in last 3 months but there is no hi history of any bp elevation so what is the average weight gain in pregnancy so normal weight gain is half kg per week ma so if okay. it is more than that, that it, it is abnormal ma yeah suggestive of fluid retention actual weight gain in pregnancy is the average weight gain is 12 kg 9 to 12 kg yeah, ma 9 to 12 kg and out of which 3 kg in first trimester 3 kg in second trimester and then around 6 kg in the third trimester why did you ask uh, blurring of vision what does it suggest blurring of vision is that in cases of preeclampsia or hypertension there can be a uh, fundus can be affected ma so it leads to papilledema yes ma 
ओके कंटिन्यू कमिंग टू पास्ट मेडिकल हिस्ट्री देर इज नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ डायबिटिस और हाइपर टेंशन ब्रॉन्कलास्मा थाइरॉइड एपिलेप्सी और एनी कार्डियक डिसीज and surgical history there are no uh, surgeries done there is no drug allergy and uh, family history no history of any diabetes or hypertension on examination patient is uh, obese conscious and oriented height 150 cm and weight 70 kg with bmi of uh, 30 and the uh, bp is 160 110 mm hg and pulse rate of 90 beats per minute which arm will you measure right or left yeah. right ma'am yes right arm in the sitting position okay on examination patient is a febrile with temperature normal temperature and uh, not pale and by uh, no cyanosis no icterus no lymphadenopathy bilateral pedal edema uh, is present ma is it pitting type or non pitting type pitting type of edema ma where will you check for pedal edema uh, we check in the medial malleolus ma'am on the dorsum of the foot mm-hmm. and also shin so any bony prominence on examination thyroid is normal spine there is no scoliosis normal breast is normal cardiovascular system s1 s2 sounds are heard no added sounds are heard respiratory system normal vascular breath sounds heard on on parabdomen examination inspection longitudinally enlarged gravid uterus is seen with uh, stria gravidarum and uh, linea nigra present no engorged veins or vessels are seen abdominal wall edema is noted yes so what do you think is the cause of uh, abdominal wall edema in this lady Uh, due to fluid retention, ma'am, fluid retention and fluid extravasation because of endothelial dysfunction. And uh, on palpation, uh, symphysis fundal height is thirty-eight centimeters. First grip uh, shows a broad non-bilateral uh, mass that is uh, corresponding to but uh, buttocks. Yes. And then second grip, that is lateral grip, shows uh, uniform resistance felt on the right side, indicating the spine. and multiple knots on the left side indicating the limbs and third grip shows hard bilateral part felt which is indicating the head and it is mobile and fourth grip confirms the first grip and uh, it is non engaged it is not engaged so these maneuvers are also called as leopard's maneuvers okay the third and fourth grips are also called as pelvic grips ma or pollux grips yes okay so auscultation on auscultation uh, fetal heart rate is heard on the right spinal umbilical re, uh, line uh, 150 beats per minute okay so fetal heart is on the same side as the as the spine as the spine okay continue 